Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Stephen Slate SSD5 and how to make it so it's a multi-track output into Studio One. I get this question every so often about Stephen Slate drums, Superior drums, and Easy Drummer. So I'm going to create some videos for you to show you how easy it is to get your MIDI into multi-track in Studio One so you can use your own plugins to uh, mix your drum kit just like you would if they were live acoustic drums. But before we get to that, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing, hit the thumbs up and hit the notification bell. Also, make sure you go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I wanna give you a free mixing mini course right on the website, worth about 50 bucks. Click the orange button, get it delivered right to your email box. It's a free mixing course. And also, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a discount uh, on some additional training if you like. So let's jump in here into Studio One. <clears throat> Pardon me. Here's SSD5. Okay, so simple. We take SSD5, we drag it onto a blank section in Studio One in our edit screen here, and it puts automatically creates an instrument track. And I went over to the groove section here and just picked a groove and just left clicked and dragged it on here to our song page here. Okay, so now when you play this back from the top. Basic drums, sounds good. Okay, but you can see that down here, it's only coming out on the left uh, output left. It's only coming out on one track. And you may say, well, how do I get it? So my kick, my snare, my toms, my overheads, all of the tracks are separate tracks in the mixer so I can mix them independently, have more control, and also use my own plugins if I wanna process them in a specific way. Well, that's a great question. So if you come over here in SSD5 and you click on the mix tab here on the left, you'll see it has its own internal mixer. And you can pre-mix this and you can mix from this plugin, but if you wanna bring it into your DAW, this is the way you do it. So you'll see down here along the mixer, this particular drum kit that I have loaded up has a kick direct, a snare direct, toms, um, has a tom three, tom, so 16 inch tom, a hi-hat, a ride, a clap, a cowbell, tambourine, and then we have rooms, overheads, and some more room mics, okay? So we got a, quite a few microphones here. You can see along the bottom where it says, each one of those tracks says one, out one stereo, out one stereo, out one stereo. That means that SSD5 is playing through output one and the whole kit is playing through output one, which you can see here when I drag SSD5 into studio one, it creates an instrument track for me. So how do you get that to be multi-tracked out? Really simple. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna come over here to the left-hand side, down in the bottom left-hand corner, make sure that the instrument is selected and then on SD5 here, you're gonna do this drop down and you're gonna make sure it'll stay, it'll come up like this. You wanna click the arrow and you wanna hit expand. And what expand's gonna do is that's gonna give you all the outputs that are available in SSD5 and each one of those will be on a separate track. Let me show you. Step one, come over here to SSD5 and let's change the bottom here for the kick. So the kick is going out um, output one. Let's go to the snare, we're gonna left click, we're gonna send that out output two. We're gonna send the tom, the 10 inch tom, out output three. We're gonna send the 12, output four. And we're gonna do this all the way down. Output five, six, output seven, output eight, output nine, output 10, and then we'll scroll over here. Output 11. I'll put 12, I'll put 13, so we have 14, I'll put 14. So now each one of these is gonna go out a separate output. So now over here on the left-hand side, when you clicked expand, we wanna check off all 14 of these. So we're gonna have output one, two, three, four, and you can see as I'm clicking that those boxes, look what's happening in the mixer. It's adding tracks, right? Oops, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think it was 14 there. Now, if I were to play back this drum, little drum pattern here in Studio One, this little drum loop, look at the mixer. Okay, we have multiple outputs now. Now we wanna solo these up here. So the kick is here, snare, Okay, so now what you can do is you can click on the bottom here, you can rename these. So you can just go kick, snare, 
right? And you can name these Tom, and you can go over to the mixer and you could even copy it. So we know we have Tom, three Toms. So we have Tom, Tom two, Tom three, right? Hi hats. We have the ride mic. We have a clap. Okay, so you can just you can just name them that way. And then this way you'll have a multi-track output. And you can put plugins on here just like you would any other audio track, like if it was recorded. Real drums. Really, really cool, right? Um, the other thing you can do here as well is you can recolor code all these things. You can do all of that stuff. Um, and so if you want to, and every time you pick a new drum kit and you pick a new groove, it's the same way. So once you set all this up, now you have multiple track outputs. It's really simple, really easy to use. One last point. Now what you'll want to maybe do here is because the groove that I picked with this drum kit, you can see it already kind of pre-mixed it here. Um, and you may want to adjust these to make sure you get a, a good enough, healthy enough signal coming through your mixer. So right now, these are all uh, turned down quite a bit. You can see at the bottom, here like a negative three so you could even turn these up all the way to unity gain if you wanted to and then you'll see in studio one you're getting a nice healthy signal so what i would typically do is turn these up to unity all the way you don't have to do it this way but this is what i would do and then this way i'm not dealing with the internal mixer to ssd5 i can just close this now and i'm only dealing with studio one and if something's too loud, I can just turn it down here. Okay, so pretty straightforward. If you wanna open up the instrument again, you just click on the little symbol and here it goes again. So that is how you use multiple or multi-track out of SSD5 into Studio One. It's really simple, it's easy to do. It gives you full control um, and SSD5 is great. So um, I appreciate you watching this video and then like I said at the beginning of the video, I wanna give you another free gift. So if this is your first time here again, go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, get your free mixing course right on the website. And if you dig that mixing course and you like my style of teaching and it resonates with you and you want to check out one of my other paid training courses on the website, I want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. That coupon code is YouTube25. It'll be in the description box below. Use that at checkout. It will take 25% off any other training course on my website. So until the next video, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.